about a lucky man who made me cry. And the news was rather sad. Well, I just had to laugh. John F. Kennedy. Perhaps the finest assassinated president ever to have lived. At least up until the point he died. <laughs> Hello, I'm Frank Ludenberg. The mystery of who shot JFK is shrouded in mystery. A cloak of silence hangs over it. Hanging, some say, from the clothes hanger of conspiracy. And beside that, indeed, on the hat rack of betrayal, is a hat. But whose head does it fit? Lee Harvey Oswald's? Or was it worn by the KGB? Presumably on some sort of roster basis. Only until the owner of the shrouded mystery in the cloak of silence retrieves these garments, along with the dry cleaning ticket of confession, will we know for certain. <laughs> that is, until now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the assassination of John F. Kennedy. John Frederick o Kennedy was born here in this photograph in 1911. Although only a baby at the time, he possessed the ability to adapt, which would one day make him famous. His body cells multiplied, and he grew in size so that in a mere four decades, he was much larger. It was in this form that he would become the president. He would eventually cease to be on that fateful day in Memphis in 1963, when Lee Harvey Oswald allegedly stabbed him. But consider this. Lee Harvey Oswald has three names. So does the man who killed Abraham Lincoln, John Wilkes Booth. Sihan Sihan, the man who assassinated Robert Kennedy, only has two names, but they are both the same. And the coincidence doesn't end there. The letters in Oswald's name add up to 15, as do the letters in Booth's name. Sihan Sihan's first name adds up to 6, as does his second, and that's a total of 12. 12 plus 15 plus 15 is 42. The age Kennedy was when he was elected to office, and exactly the number of feet between the motorcade and the grassy knoll when the first shot was heard, if you've minus a few feet. After the shooting, Oswald ran to a theatre. After his shooting, Booth ran to a bookshop. Though he did so over a hundred years earlier, it doesn't alter the fact that shooting has eight letters. Exactly the same number of letters in the name Jack Ruby, who shot Oswald around three days later. Add that three to the twelve letters of Sihan Sihan's name, and you get... that number again, fifteen. Half the number of letters in both Booth's and Oswald's names combined, eight less than the total number of shots fired in the Kennedy assassination, and two more than John Wilkes Booth's middle name if you misspelt it. And what of the grassy knoll? The logic is inescapable, yet there are those who say that these figures mean nothing. They may be true, but there is one thing that's certain. These leopards here. Rosemary, a beautiful and drought-tolerant plant. Its herbal power has been harnessed and used as a natural remedy since ancient Greece. Its needle-like leaves remind us yet again of the wonders of Mother Nature. The cold side of the pillow is colder than the other side so i flip it over and it feels good for a little while totally unconvinced that those leopards were not involved. This is Frank Ludenberg closing the book on yet another knee and saying until next week then, good night, as indeed I just did.